My name's Laura Anderson and I'm a dispute resolution solicitor here at Fishers. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about landlord and tenant law and particularly with the changes to the law that are on the horizon. So no fault evictions are where a landlord can recover possession of their property without there being any fault on the part of the tenant. So the tenant won't be in breach of any of their obligations under their tenancy agreement and um, it may just be that the landlord decides that they want to either sell the property um, or move somebody else in um, or just move out the market. As far as we know, the changes that are on the horizon will mean that it's much harder for tenants to be evicted um, where they haven't done anything wrong. This will include landlords having to give them longer notice periods, a restriction on when they can be served, um, and generally to allow tenants to be in the property for longer. Um, assuming that the proposed law is enacted, the changes will mean that landlords have to give four months notice rather than the current two. So there's going to be an automatic extension to the, the period that it will take to recover possession. Um, a landlord would also demonstrate that they are actively looking to sell the property. So if they're saying to the courts, I want this tenant out because I want to sell my property, they will have to demonstrate that they are actively trying to do that. Um, and again, that's a change because at the moment they don't need to really give a reason. It's important for landlords to understand that um, tenants are given an awful lot of protection, um, um, which is not to say that landlords don't have rights, but they have to ensure that they follow the processes to the letter to ensure that they don't end up with difficulties later on. So the good news with the changes is that um, where a tenant is in breach, so perhaps if the tenant is not paying the rent, a landlord can still take action to evict those tenants to minimise those losses. So a common scenario that we come across is where a landlord has rented out a property, um, perhaps to a relative. There won't be a formal um, AST, that's an Assured Shorthold Tenancy Agreement. So there's no written agreement. Um, it's been a little bit woolly on the, the payment of rent few years down the line, relationships have changed um, and the landlord wants them out. Um, sadly, what they may not have done is issued the tenant with the correct paperwork before they moved in. And so sometimes what we have to do is just go back to, to basics and make sure that all the documents that should have been served at the start of the tenancy are now served to ensure that when it comes to be served, the section 21 notice is valid. So a section 21 notice is a notice that explains that the landlord wants to recover possession of the property. It will specify the names of the tenants, it will specify the address of the property and importantly the date by which the tenants have to move out um, and that date has to be carefully calculated so it's best to get some legal advice to, to make sure that you're doing everything in order and for that notice to be valid, certain documents have to have been given at the start of a tenancy. For a section 21 notice to be valid um, or to be validly served, the tenant will have to have been given by the landlord before the commencement of their tenancy, um, a gas safety certificate, a copy of the how to rent guide that's available through the government website and also um, an energy performance certificate. The gas safety certificate is something that needs to be um, updated and renewed every year. Here at Fishers, we can help landlords by um, either preparing the assured shorthold tenancy agreement ready for use by tenants. Um, if a tenant is in arrears with their rent, we can advise on the recovery process, both in terms of recovery of the rent arrears and recovery of possession. If, on the other hand, the tenant's not in breach, but the landlord just decides that it's time for them perhaps to exit the letting market, or they want them out for any other reason, then we can help review the documentation um, that they supplied at the start of the tenancy to make sure they're up to scratch. If, at the expiry of a notice, the tenant has not moved out of the property, we can um, assist with the process of making the application for the possession order, attending court if there's a hearing, um, and instructing bailiffs if the possession order is made and the tenants still don't move out. We've recently advised a client who ended up as a landlord um, fairly reluctantly um, and so the paperwork um, was not completely in order um, at the time that the tenancy started so we've been able to help by correcting those defects, serving the gas safety certificate the EPC and the how to rent guide, which means that we're now in a position to 
surface section 21 notices. Um, it's a situation where we don't anticipate that tenants will be moving out and therefore we're primed to make the application for possession order. As a result of the advice we've given, the client is now a lot more confident um, that he understands the processes that he needs to execute as a responsible landlord and will apply that moving forward to his portfolio.